Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two different eye looks inspired by Sephora's blue makeup trend. So upon hearing that Sephora's trend was all about blue eye makeup, it gave me the idea to give you guys two different ways to wear blue makeup confidently, since I know that it can be a really scary color to wear. So I hope you guys get inspired by my looks, and if you want to learn more about the trend, then all that info will be in the down bar. So before we start with the eyeshadow, it's important to prime your lids just to make sure that the shadow doesn't crease and it stays on all day long. Then from the Smashbox Shape Matters palette, I'm taking this neutral brown on this Sephora Pro Blending Large 27 brush and I'm sweeping this in the upper crease area just making sure that I blend it really well up to the brow bone. This is going to be our transition shade. And then switching over to a thinner, more dense blending brush, I'm taking a deeper, more cool toned brown from the same palette and using windshield wiper motions, I'm just going to define the crease even more and then blending it out with that first color. Then I'm using this rounded flat concealer brush to really pack this metallic taupey shade all over the entire lid. Then I'm just grabbing a blending brush, pretty much anyone will do, and we're just gonna quickly go over those edges to make sure there's no harsh lines. So if you don't wanna go full on blue, but you still wanna rock the color, then this first look is great for you. It's just your classic cat eye winged liner with hints of blue in the center. So something like a halo winged liner, if that makes any sense, you'll see in a minute. So with my favorite liquid liner of all times, the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper, I'm just creating my wing on my outer corner and then moving to the inner corner, but leaving a space in the center bare for the blue. So you can make your wing as thick or thin or as long or short as you like, whatever complements your eye shape, just make sure you're leaving that space bare in the middle. So for this center portion of the liner, I'm taking a really tiny precision angled brush and on my brush is a beautiful sky blue eyeshadow from Milk Makeup. And this product is perfect for this look for a couple of reasons, let me explain. So it comes in a tube so it squeezes out more like a cream eyeshadow. So the texture is really soft and silky but then it dries and has the power of like a gel liner. It's amazing. It did not transfer to my upper lid, it didn't crease, it didn't budge. I was so impressed with this and it's also pigmented as you can see. Then I'm just taking some black eyeshadow and blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines and it's a nice gradient from black to blue. Then with any black pencil liner or gel liner, whatever you prefer, I'm just quickly tight lining and then mimicking what we did on our top lid to our bottom lash line, without the wing, obviously. So basically just lining the outer and inner portions and leaving the center bare for the blue. And then of course I'm gonna blend those out. I want them nice and smoky. You don't have to go this smoky if you don't want to, but I wanted that halo effect to really be exaggerated so I blended down pretty far. Then going back to that liquid liner, I'm extending the line in the inner corners to a point just so it looks really cat-like and it elongates the eyes and makes them very sexy. Then I'm grabbing some black eyeshadow and setting not only the liquid liner in the inner corner, but also bringing it on the inner corner and outer corner to set that coal liner and also to make it a little bit darker. Don't forget to dust away any fallout from the black shadow, add lashes and mascara, and then the first eye look is complete. So the second look is for those of you who wanna go all out and straight up wear blue eyeshadow. And in my opinion, the easiest way to rock blue eyeshadow is by using complementary colors such as purples and pinks like what I did in this video, or even neutrals like your cool and warm toned browns. But since we are using brighter colors, I recommend doing your face makeup second so you don't have to worry about fallout. And also while we're working on our eyes, we can let our skincare sink in and do its job. So I've already moisturized and now I'm going in with my eye cream. This is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream, which is super hydrating and I noticed that my concealer looks a lot better when I use this. And again, following up with eyeshadow primer, this is the Urban Decay original one. Fun fact, my water dragon was actually named after the Eden shade of primer potion. So now we can begin cutting the crease. I'm just taking this small angled brush and this dark purple shade from the Makeup Forever 9 Artist Shadow Palette. And with that, I'm basically doing small lines to sketch out a new crease that goes right above my natural crease. 
Then I'm grabbing a pencil brush and I'm gonna take my time and really blend this line out, but I'm only blending upwards towards my brow bone. I'm not blending down on my lid. Then to help blend out that purple, I'm taking the shimmery pink from the palette on a little fluffy brush and I'm blending this right on top of that purple and up towards the brow bone so it's a nice gradient from purple to pink. And then like I say, for every cut crease, you're just gonna wanna repeat those two steps and blend like crazy. So here I'm re-adding that dark purple over the original line and then taking the pink and blending it out. Then I'm going to blend out the edges of the pink one last time with an even fluffier brush just to make sure that it fades nicely into nothing. Now to really carve out that crease and fix any mistakes that you may have made with the purple, I'm just taking a really small concealer brush with any kind of high coverage concealer. The one that I am using is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer which is perfect for the eyelids because you obviously do not want it to be creasing. To fill in the lid, I'm taking this middle shade right here. It's a beautiful turquoise on a concealer brush and I'm just placing this on the inner corner and only taking this about one third of the way in. For the middle shade and the star of this look, I'm taking the Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow in the shade Paranoid. Such a perfect metallic electric blue, so pigmented. It's 85% pigment, which is twice as much as their standard formula. If you guys are in a Sephora, you need to swatch these eyeshadows. They're amazing. So I just put that on the center of the lid and then blended it into that turquoise. And then I left the outer third blank for this cobalt blue shade from Urban Decay. And on a tiny detailed brush, I'm just going to fill in that section and blend it into the electric blue just like we did with the turquoise but when we start getting close to the purple line I'm gonna switch over to the Sephora Pro Shadow number 14 brush and very lightly just blend the purple and blue together and then you get to feel this satisfaction <laughs> For the lower lash line, I'm using that dark purple on the outer third and smudging that really close to the lashes. And then I'm gonna be blending that out with the lighter purple from the same palette. Next, just line your waterline and then set that with the same navy blue that we used on our outer corner. And then I'm also going to blend that a little bit down into the purple as well to make it extra smoky. Then back to the Makeup Forever palette, I'm taking the middle shade on top, the silver, and popping that on the inner corner, and a very, very tiny amount on the very high points of my brow bone, and then blending it across the rest of my brow. So this is the eyeshadow complete. All that's left to do is add false lashes and mascara. And for my bottom lashes, I did blue mascara to stick with the, of course, blue theme. So I chose Benefits They Are Real in the shade Beyond Blue. And it was super pigmented and bright, and I think it was the perfect final touch to this look. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these looks and maybe found some new ways to get some use out of your blue eye makeup. And if you did find this helpful and you decide to create your own look, don't forget to hashtag blue makeup and trending at Sephora so I can find it. A huge thank you to Sephora and Refinery29 for partnering with me on this video. And of course, a huge thank you to you guys for watching. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye-bye.